Hey pals, we have a little special episode for you this week. We recorded our planning session for the podcast for season two of the movie podcast. And so we wanted to drop that into your feed so you can see how things happen behind the scenes on how we come up with themes and how we discussed how we came to the conclusion for our theme for season two. It's kind of a special episode. You get to see behind the scenes on how we did our planning and what we talk about. You also get to see that even a non-Go With The Heat episode just planning for the three of us, it still turned out like it was a Go With The Heat episode. The same jokes, including a joke with someone's punching a face of a snake off and, of course, about Sylvester Stallone's <clears throat> special body parts and Demolition Man. So we hope you enjoy this episode. We will be back next week with our full kickoff episode with the announcement of the list of movies our picks for how it's going to go and uh, all the ways that you can get involved with season two of Go With The Heat. So please enjoy this behind the scenes look at the kickoff to season two of Go With The Heat and we'll be back soon. Hope you enjoy it. That brings me to my first topic to discuss. Our teeth? <laughs> You're all fired. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see you find more talent than us. <laughs> We made this podcast. Dominic's over there eating candy. I can't eat anything hard or crunchy. He's eating candy over here. <laughs> so what if I got a box of lemon heads? God. See, chewing on Jolly Ranchers is what got me into this. That's mm -hmm. why you got cracked teeth because you <laughs> Jolly Ranchers exactly. are cracking your teeth recording schedule so we have we're probably going to do roughly eight episodes or eight movies plus an opening episode plus a closing episode so here's what my idea was it's gonna be roughly that we might come up with nine movies we might come up with six who knows like my idea is is that we actually record for eight straight weeks and if we do that that would take us into like the end of april is when we would end of april mid-may in in that time frame and that would fit our move schedule <laughs> Okay. Because if we recorded, so here, here's the pitch. If we record eight straight and then like four short episodes, we still take that idea of the, um, you should watch it. So it's just some other, some other movie. We record a short episode and then we have full movie episode. A you should watch it episode, a full movie episode. And those are spaced out like every two weeks. Mm -hmm. We could in eight weeks, we could potentially make 20 weeks of content okay so that would basically mean we wouldn't have to start the next season until the next fall yeah exactly okay so we had to take the summer off yep but okay we would still have episodes coming out every week yeah yeah. Now, or every other week no, no, i'm cool with that so um i'm totally good with that okay so that means that we would either a on a Saturday night, record the You Should Watch It episodes or say those like the end. Like we record all the movie ones and then we start doing the, the short recordings. I could do like a short episodes on Saturdays and then like watch the movie during the week because, you know, I got time after work and stuff and then do our normal podcast on Sundays. I would think that occasionally I would maybe want to be flexible just because jenna and mom and stuff like to do stuff in case i have something going on a saturday night or something we might have to work with the schedule a little bit actually now that you're saying that out loud i actually kind of like that idea in that I, so i think with the vice stuff we were better when we were watching them separately we were and in the last season of the movie podcast we were watching the movies on saturday night together and we like were, me, yeah, yeah, us we and were you. texting each other. And I think what it is is that then we, when we watch it separately, we bring different points of view. When we watch it together, we kind of narrow our point of views together. Yeah, we're all we have the same stuff. Also, it's the yeah. same jokes too, because like we, we've all said them already. Mm -hmm. So it's not yeah. it's not as organic as it is like when we come up with our own things and we're like you know whatever. I like that. I like yeah. that. But so, so that also means that on the Saturday nights where we can, we watch a we watch a bad movie on Saturday night and it doesn't have to fit our theme or anything. It's just like you sh and then after that after we watch it, we're like we record a you should watch it. So you mean like future sport? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we watched that last night. <laughs> just make sure on the schedule. So that sounds like starting next week we'll record basically like nine straight weeks or ten straight weeks, however many weeks it is and then yeah hopefully in that time we'll also record like as many of these you should watch it episodes as possible and i yeah. i the goal of those aren't to be like super straightforward like hey, we just watch this you, you should watch it it's like just 
as organic as we can be like we literally just watch this pile of crap and like for like 10 minutes we just razz on it and tell just whatever comes to mind <laughs> you know what i mean raw yes. the the, yeah. the goal is to be raw about it yeah exactly so that's why i'm thinking like this schedule works because then it's then it's during the week i watch the movie that we're going to talk about on sunday and that yep. way we have different points of view and then on Saturdays, we get together, we watch a really terrible movie, and we podcast about it right away, and we just do a 10, 20-minute rant. Yep, then I'll give every person during the week, watch the movie whenever you can, and then whatever mm -hmm. else you need to do to get ready. So, like, I need to look up all the directors and the act and, like, the co-starring who wrote it and, like, all that kind of stuff. God, that's good. You got music and guest stars, so, like, you yeah. have a week to put that together instead of watch it on Saturday, do that on Sunday. So I think the natural thing to come to is that junk food cinema podcast and talk about our content using that as like, hey, an example of what our content could be. Yeah, and that's the thing is like when I listened to that podcast, I could see what you want, why you wanted me to listen to it, that it was very similar to what it sounds like when we record. Mm -hmm. They were really excited about it. it was, they were really excited about a very bad movie that, didn't do well in the box office that's an older movie but it's a cult classic so it very fits exactly what we were a lot of what we're doing or kind of what we've turned the podcast into i think that there are different definite differences between what we do and what they do the part where they play the trailer of the movie before mm. they talk about it mm. i was like like that's a great idea like <laughs> it would be obviously we would be stealing it so like we couldn't do it but like, like yeah. it's one of those like i wish i had that idea first <laughs> we can still do like, it some of the movies, steal it. <laughs> but like some of the movies we watch like you watch the youtube trailer for it and it's just terrible <laughs> but it also explains a lot of the plot and so like you don't have to get as detailed in the explanation then some of them have nudity um, as we discovered <laughs> Some oh, of yeah. the actual trailers. <laughs> wow. I didn't know that was even legal. I don't know. We watched, I sent one to Dominic on accident at work. <laughs> He's like, that has nudity. And I was like, oh yeah, that's right. It did. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, but I did like the, the amount of time that they uh, spent not just talking about the history of the movie. So like why it was important and why it was, but why it was important important in their lives like he talked about yep. him being at working at the movie store and like how important it was in the area and like at the time it made me think of we really kind of think about my segments and think about like well you know is there a better way for us to talk about guest stars rather than stopping the show in a segment or to try and talk about it more organically through the breakout as in part of the history it's like this is yeah. what got this guy's big break when we so, did i don't know yeah when we originally Originally did guest stars in Miami Vice. That's the way it went. It was organic instead yeah. of having its own segment. Then we decided to make it into its own segment. That way, yeah. um, everyone got their due. It didn't like no, no one got skipped. It didn't feel forced. Like, hey, we're gonna force talk about this guy. Yeah. But I think what what you're getting at that I like is less like I, I guess not like all of us did. We got we got into our formula, and mm -hmm. what happened was is that then we then started talking just like nuts and bolts about the movie. Not so much about, like, for example, in guest stars, you're like, yeah, let's look, there's these people, these people, these people. But I want to talk about this guy because I fucking love this guy. Yeah, exactly. You know, and like, yeah. that's that's what, who I want to talk about. And then, like, if if it's a JCVD movie, like, allowing it to organically happen with a conversation about just, like, Melissa's love for JCVD instead of being like, okay, yeah, yes. yeah but but we have to move on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and and part of it too is like I think some of our us like, like having the separate music segment, some of the structure is what separate st sets us apart from that that podcast. Mm -hmm. is, so, is some of that structure having it be more organically built in. So I think and I think what's important with that is then just us being super selective with the scenes we talk about. Mm -hmm. Trying mm -hmm. to eliminate unnecessary scenes so that we spend we can spend longer talking about the more important scenes then that can work in hey and then this guy was also in this movie and this is what got him started or, or yeah interesting yeah. fact here you know i like that and i also like that if we scale back the number of scenes like i roll back on the rundown instead of like going like order or, yeah. like the actual order is that we instead we just focus on like these are either a the really important scenes or b the scenes that were the like the coolest he that we like the, the best head off. yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> like, he yeah, has a huge yeah, song exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what i love about it is to get more into like 
this is a parallel to my own life. Or when I first saw this movie, I remember seeing this in theaters. Or I remember when I was a little kid and I, I stole this VHS and I watched it in my rooms. Mm -hmm. And no one knew that I did that. Like that kind yeah. of stuff in exchange of yes. narrating the movie and getting more into Hey, especially when we're talking about movies in the '90s. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we obviously exactly. have a lot more a lot more history with that. Yeah, I mean, think about like if we we're talking about Street Fighter, and we grew up playing the Street Fighter Sega video game. Growing up, watching, I remember watching that movie as like a ten year old and pretending to be Ryu. We can share a little bit more about ourselves in mm -hmm. the podcast. I feel like if we if we if we make it a little bit more about us than about the movie at times. Two things to add on to that. One is I think our best stuff is when the Dolph Dong thing was hilarious. Yeah. Because but that we were all on the same page. The best stuff is when we are disagreeing with each other and just like piling on. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like we just keep going with it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Two, we're also really great at weaving in consistent jokes. We constantly go back to a similar, it's like this one thing. We yeah. did it all the time with Miami Vice, like the foot rubbing thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We went back. That was like always our best stuff. And that that just happens on its own. You know, like the, we, we can't force that. So, but the big yeah, thing yeah, is, yeah, is yeah. like where, where we come in with different opinions. And three is the feedback that we always get. And we actually got a new email that this week from someone saying like, hey, I love the show. They always say the same thing, which is they are chemistry. They like it when we get rolling and we're just like making jokes and piling on and having a different opinion. And the conversation, it's not the formulaic. Like it was this scene and this yeah. and this and this. Mm -hmm. And then this scene happened and this, this, this. It's the Dolph Dong moments. <laughs> it's the... Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. It's that kind yeah, of yeah. stuff. It's the cock moments. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm getting to is if we scale back on the number of scenes, for example, that I cover, then and we spend more time in like, look, let's really break this scene down. Yeah. What about this? <laughs> you know, and I think that's going to help to watching it on our own and then having our that other podcast on the Saturday nights is like at the end of that podcast, we can kind of go like, hey. I want to talk about this scene, this scene, and this mm. scene. And so and it just make sure that we're all on the same page. Is this is these are the scenes. And so like we're gonna focus on these six scenes. And so we're not gonna talk about the scene at the airport. We're just gonna skip that. Excuse me. I can scale back on and get just more order on that for the for the rundown. And then instead mm -hmm. of doing a guest star segment because of the movies, we'll organically weave them in where they see fit. Except for like the main star, like, you know, in um yeah. The last Boy Scout right out of the gate is there's the big scene. And then we just stop right there and talk about like, oh, hey, look, here's the two people. These are the biggest names in this yeah, or something this, like that. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. OK. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. And then music. I don't know what your thoughts are on if you want to make any changes to the music segment. I don't know. I was actually going to ask you guys what you thought about the music segment. If you thought there was if there's do you like something that I did with Vice that I'm not doing now? Or is there something that I'm doing now that's better than or, you know, or is there something that I, or. Differently? Yeah, I think like, the I best. Know. I think the best moments for your music is a when it's some unknown band and you're like, according to their WordPress site, they, yeah. say <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a Wikipedia or actually it's their own site when they're selling their CDs on there. Don't worry. Yeah. Those ones. And then so that's where there's a good chance for the recurring stuff. It's like, hey, some bitch Phil Collins, I swear to God, like there's that uh -huh. opportunity for it. But I guess I guess where my thoughts are is like a is when it's someone that you really like. And then you're like, hey, they did this and they did that. And this is, you know, this is what this means. And then B, it's like this person thinks that they're the greatest. Yeah. According to their Wix site. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so I guess what my thoughts are is that instead of covering everyone, if you pick, if you cherry picked. So let's say there's an album of 10 songs. You cherry okay. picked four. This person's great. I love this person. Yeah, or based on like what you found out about yeah. them, like research them all, and then yeah. like, okay. oh, this is in this has got interesting. Like, yeah, this right here. Two, this is I'm gonna tell you this story about this guy thinking of the song in his pillow punching therapy <laughs> session. <laughs> okay, all right. And then well, three, and see, that's that's that, that's kind of what like listening to you guys talk and like listening to my own segments. There's I, the times I get bored listening to it is when it's me just repeating facts. He mm -hmm. did X amount of awards and so and such and such. And this is, you know, or getting into a boring history of they toured with this band. And, mm -hmm. you know, even though some people have some amazing stories, the times I like the most of the times I, and the times I have the most fun is the obscure stuff is the yeah. Oscar Mayer Wiener 
song <laughs> and the obscure guy who's banned, even though it's frustrating because it takes me forever to find it. But the Facebook posts, you know, of his yep. st- still selling his songs, you know, so. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I, think I would maybe that's I would prefer <clears throat> if you had 10 songs instead of skimming all 10. If you did three really deep. You know what I mean? And yeah, then, just say, like, yeah. these are the, out of the music, this is what I want to focus on, or this is what I think is great. Uh, and that definitely adds in your flavor to it, too, then. Because, like, mm-hmm. there may be all these huge bands, but you chose these two and one that's a relative unknown, right? And, and so and then, the, and yeah, and then it doesn't feel forced where it's, like, at times where it's, like, with you 2 there is so much to talk about with a band like YouTube and very YouTube and very little of it is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it, it's it's you're boring, Bono. You're boring. <laughs> yeah, and see, and that's what I'm saying. So, like, let's say you have an an, an album for a soundtrack, and it's got YouTube and it's got a bunch of other people on it. But then it's also got because we're talking the '90s mostly. Because I guarantee you, we're gonna pick it's movies all that are gonna be in the '90s. 90s. Yeah. yeah, but it's got, it's an album. It's also an album that's got Soundgarden on it. And you're like, hey, listen, it's got a song by U2, but U2 is boring. So, so I'm moving about- on. Yeah. I'm going to talk about yes. Soundgarden. <laughs> okay. Then, yeah. Then that that's the way I want to – then that's the way I'm going to go forward with the with the music segment there. So the two changes for me is that we're going to talk about guest stars more organically built in. Yeah. And then uh, – You're just going to narrow um, your music. And then for me, I'm going to uh, – Make sure that I that I get notes from people, even if it's just like in messaging, like yeah, like, you know, like whatever. Though. Hey, this scene and that scene, like that way I can keep it focused on those. Got it. Cool. Okay. Um, and then we'll still follow the same similar kind of formula, which is like here's our open, yeah. here's something that we might want yeah. to talk about in the beginning. Okay, now let's go give it the breakdown. We do our breakdown, then we'll do music, and then we'll do yeah. our final thoughts. It just won't be for the guest stars just won't be like okay we're in this specific spot we're gonna do this yeah and i think because we're gonna be getting more personal with the breakdowns the opens we can be a little bit more of let me gush about why i'm glad we're doing the jcv movie <clears throat> let me tell you why i hate that melissa's or that dominic's making me watch this movie again mm, you know um, that's a good point that in the open because as especially because we're going to record them and then they may not publish three months is that this is why we chose this movie. Yeah. yeah. So here's the movie. It's blank, directed by, written by, came out this year, made this much money. Okay, now before we get started, here's why we chose this movie because we're, we're going to choose them all ahead of time. It's yeah. Like, we chose Hard yeah, Target exactly. because, because he punches that snake's face off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly and there's no other reason why you wouldn't choose that movie like that's number one if you had to choose a movie it's because you punch a snake's face off and as, as someone that hates snakes i will advocate punching a snake's face off every time exactly exactly okay so i i, I like that i like that the open is why we chose that movie okay Got it. I think to a certain extent, when you're listening to a podcast like this, it's an there's an entertainment factor to it, and you're not necessarily listening to it because you're as you, you may not immediately watch the movie they're talking about, but you are entertained by the podcast itself. And I can yeah. see that I see that you could listen to 20 minutes, pause it, come back to it, listen to another 20 minutes, and yeah. you wouldn't miss. It wouldn't be difficult to pick up where you left off yeah. on in the discussion. So Well see, and that's um, what I think when people give us feedback and they say that they like our chemistry, I think what they mean by that is is that it sounds like the three of us are sitting in a room just talking yeah. about a movie and they they get to be a fly on the wall. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We're not putting on a show. We're not a you know, we're not like um like a professional Exactly. Exactly. What they get is, is that they get three friends who are just going to laugh and have fun over a movie or like when, when, yeah. when we were doing Vice. And they, it makes them feel like they're with us. They're mm-hmm. actually in the room yeah. with us hearing the mm-hmm. conversation, which is the feedback that we would get on Vice. Mm-hmm. If like the things that we had talked about where things kind of happen more organically and we weave in more of our personal feelings on stuff and stories and and loosen that up and not be so hard on it's got to be about the movie, got to be about the movie, got to be yeah. about the movie, and more like it's just mm-hmm. about us and having fun yeah. with the movie, then that's going to mm-hmm. that's gonna naturally happen and have more of that feeling of like, hey, this is really cool. It's like they invited me over to their house and I can just listen to them talk about these movies. Before we move on, the last thing I wanted to say is that there is 40 more minutes of Event Horizon. How did I not know this? <laughs> Is there a director's cut? There is. Like, he mentions it in the episode. How oh, did I not know there I must was have 40 more that. minutes of Event Horizon? 
I thought I'd watched every version of Event Horizon. Okay, I'm time. just saying it right now. We're not doing Event Horizon. I hate. We that are movie. now. There's no. 40 more minutes no. that I have not seen of Event Horizon. Well, that's, not, that's so an extra is... thing for you to do, John. I'm not watching Event Horizon unless you would like to there do. There is a possibility <laughs> where I just forget. rip it apart. <laughs> Don't forget at the end when he's like he's like naked with the crazy eyes all scratched out and everything. We might see his wang in that forty minutes. <laughs> John's like it's worth it for the wang. Well, okay, Just, if we might see his wang. I might change my mind. I'm I mean, sure. that was the thing that was missing from Jurassic Park is that you couldn't <laughs> see his wang. So here we are with the Van Horizon coming through in the clutch. I mean, if it's going to be one of those ones like you just you're just setting it up, it's going to be contentious from the beginning, and you just want me to rip it apart. I'm Let's just doing. Will you will you ever forget Stallone's butthole in Demolition Man? <laughs> no, that is true. I will never forget that. It's the highlight of watching it. I think that might have been his butthole. I don't know though. <laughs> okay, so the other thing I took a bunch of notes on was themes. So. Yes. Yes. So, and I did send out one link and actually have, I have two years, either 1991 or 1993, uh, just as, because I'm not married to any of them. It's just like more ideas. So yeah. anyway, Sean, it sounds like you got some, so go ahead. What's, what's one that you got? So, I mean, obviously I, I want to start out advocating for this next season being the video game movies mm-hmm. from that era, because that's one, we have most of them already on play and so that and we've seen most of them so that makes yeah. it the easiest transition and I, i'm looking forward to talking about our double dragon nintendo days and <laughs> stuff and you can talk about your raspberry pi and so i came up with a couple different ways because i think after that then it comes like how there's a lot of different ways we can kind of format things obviously there are specific actors that we're going to come to a lot in these movies you know and it's almost like the 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 expendables group you know, where it's like oh, you yeah. could almost do a whole season on Chuck Norris movies and a whole season on JCVD. And that actually is an idea that we Sahel. had. We had an idea like yeah. that, too, to do JCVD for the whole season. Yeah, that was my idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and to just do and, and to just do a different dedicated actor each time. Or we could do it based on the actual movies where it's like the lone wolf or like the underdog that movies. Or... Yeah, that's true. That's true. There's like the Lord, uh, or like the ninja ones like um. There's like mm-hmm. ninja, but then there's also like I'm in karate, and now yeah. you you like, sold the name of my dojo. You will pay. Yeah, they're not yes. ninjas; they're yeah. just jackasses. Yeah, um, yeah exactly. We, we, we could also do a we, whole season we where do... we do just nothing but American ninja movies. <laughs> All eight American yeah. ninja movies. <laughs> we could do a whole. We could do a whole uh, season of military themed, where it's like Red Scorpion and Invasion mm. USA. Yeah, that's. We can do themed, or we can do actor themed. Something I thought, and this is something where it would be a little bit off of where we are era wise but we could do like original versus remake where it's like or where we would basically compare like the original rambo to like the new rambo movie i told or melissa like, earlier today and another one is the sequel that doesn't have the original actor in it yeah that's a good mm-hmm. one yeah what other um, we had we had a different one too didn't we where it was like um like character actors. Mm, so uh-huh. like Brian, what's his oh, name? Yeah. Brian, whatever. Yeah, what was his name? I don't remember, Brian but something. It's the it's guy. No, from, the, um... no, it's the guy from Tango and Cash. He's the bad guy where he like got the Australian accent. And the ponytail. And the ponytail. Oh, yeah. Well, no, or like, gotcha. like Mitt Face. Yeah, Mitt Face. Yeah. So he's in, mm-hmm. they're in a bunch of movies like where they're the bad guy or they're, but, but they don't get the recognition because they're just like some side character. But they're in a, he, that mm-hmm. guy, that Brian James guy, he's been in like a hundred different movies as like the bad guy with the eye patch. Yeah, or what was star that one that face. We just watched oh it was that it was that cyber cyber jack or yes. no yes that was yeah like that. cyber jack <laughs> where he they oh my god <laughs> i can't bad. even describe the bad. story it like, was the guy from american ninja who that, looked like dressed oh, yeah. like don johnson just like don johnson huh. and he was he was like he used to be a cop and then he was a security guard at this high-tech science facility yeah. and i don't know and then, and then <laughs> i don't know and then they could get wow. the technology into people and then they hold it hostage. Then it gets really boring for a while because they're just like they have everyone hostage, and then Don Johnson, uh, the look alike, look alike. What's his name? Um, Dudikoff, Michael Dudikoff. Michael Dudikoff's just like crawling through the vents, <laughs> and then that <laughs> like, like, happens for like forty minutes, but there's just like nothing kind of happening <laughs> except for that. <laughs> and then it gets to the end, and he's got the technology inside of him, and he can like force electrify things, and he gets like lawnmower man style uh-huh. into the system. Like, yeah, it's great. It's great. I mean, nothing like so, future sport. 
but no, yeah. <laughs> and, and so that that brings me to so one of my other theme ideas was like terrible franchises where it's like they made five different Scorpion Kings, five different Starship Troopers, five different Tremors, five different Time Cops, really bad direct to movie franchises. Or we could just live on the obscure stuff like Future Sport. Just be so obscure with the movie picks that it's like you've never heard. We guarantee you you've never heard of this. I I, th- I, was I think those are saved for the you should watch it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because we're I not going to give it the full rundown. No, I need to yeah, talk okay. about future sport. <laughs> what does it have to do with Hawaiians? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I will say I tried hard, hard to find a theme that would fit around so we could do that movie Blown Away with Jeff Bridges. Yeah, he was really reaching. <laughs> He's like, what about this? I'm like, no, because those are all good movies. We can't do any of those. Like, oh, damn it. <laughs> trying hard. I mean, I really, really want... Now, with 1991, there is Lionheart, uh, L.A. No, sorry, that that one's a comedy. Um, let's see here. I had a, I knew, should have wrote, wrote down my list. Um, because that's the other option is that we do a year and then we pick out a bunch of movies that are from that year, and then they can be deeper cuts too. That one's just a that one really boxes us in though because it's like okay, well, it's got to be from this year. And when it comes to music, that means that the music is going to be like all music from that exact era so we'll do like eight straight yeah oh, stone yeah, cold yeah. though stone cold is in 1991 oh damn um, uh, that's a good one see that's the perfect movie to do because it's like one of those things where not everyone has seen it well and that's that's like that movie i was talking about with ice T and uh remember when we were when we were oh, on yeah. vacation i kind of like that idea too of like the rappers no yeah we'll have to come back to that one now, yeah the rap one's good yeah well because i guarantee you we can find vanilla ice movies we can find MC Hammer movies. I guarantee yeah. you they did movies in the 90s. Oh, yeah. They're, they're there. So, yeah, exactly. like, I, I, I think that's, you can find, like, like we would be able to, now, it would be a more mainstream movie, but we could do Electric Boogaloo to include in that. If we yeah, that's to. true. That's true. Oh, so. trust me, it's tempting. Melissa would kill me, but it is tempting to do musicals, like rock musicals. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would kill you. I'm not doing that. Maybe it was yeah, 1990 I was looking at. Yeah, it was 1990 that I was looking at. Tremors, Hard to Kill. Um, let's see here. Hold on. Uh, I'm trying to remember. There was one that really stood out in 1990. Marked for Death, another JCVD. Man, he did a bunch of movies like all really close together. Bird on a Wire, that one was pretty big, though. Um, Robocop 2. Mm, yeah, the more that I talk about this as 1990, the less I love it. Navy Seals. <laughs> yeah, but that uh, one's long. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 1993 was the better year when I was looking at it. So I'm thinking let's just stay with theme. Let's just stay with video game, and then we can go like military and ninja themed, and like, and just stay with season themes. In, in, in the vein of what all the movies tie around this theme and then it's we can pull from different years from those eras yeah and it, it gives us more options and it, and so but it also means that we can we can pick like so we, we can pick specific or vague themes so we can pick like specific themes like ninja because we know there's a, a shit ton of ninja movies or we can be vague like space theme and then yeah. that just gives us the ability to do like seven or eight sci-fi movies one season i think it's gotta be it's gotta be more focused even more focused than ninja it's gotta be like if we were to do ninja it's gotta be like captured yeah or or, if, or like so for example if we were gonna do karate it's gotta be like teenage karate or you know um, whatever like yeah I, I, the, oh, the, well, theme, here, the, the theme that I was here, getting to was like idea. was captured and taken to another country or oh something yeah like that's that, you know? yeah that, like escape uh-huh ninja escape. Well, <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay, so I have an idea for it in that same vein. We have already mentioned the joke about Seattle Karate. Mm-hmm. We know at least four movies in which it talks about, which are karate movies that are in focus in different cities. Mm. Uh huh. And so yeah. we can do a different karate city for each movie, and then at the end decide which is once and for all which is the best karate city no we got to do it because that movie that we were just talking about where you were like i don't remember watching it that billy blanks one that's perfect because uh-huh. that's in la oh yeah that's like compton uh-huh and then we could do so we do the seattle one then we do my we do miami connection uh-huh, uh-huh. and then there's and there's got to be like oh you know what and then was it 
Where where was um friendship and uh Miami Dragons connection? Yeah, yeah, that's the that's, oh, no, that's Mi- Miami connection. That's yeah. Miami connection. Uh, so they're not even in Miami, they're in Orlando. Wasn't there a New York? <laughs> wasn't there a New York karate one? Oh, yeah, I'm sure there is a New York karate. We that, that we can find them. All we got to do is look for Billy okay. Blanks. Oh, we could even do international yes. and do the the kickboxer king of kickboxers. Yep, yep. Cuz that's like yeah. in Thailand. And we okay. could do um uh damn it, I had one and now I lost it. It's like another city, but it wasn't a normal. Oh, we could do Jim Cotta. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I guess maybe we could save. We save Jim Cotta for a time where we do different types of karate. So it's like Jim <laughs> okay. And then we have our champion of the cities. It's like in Seattle karate one. So we got Seattle karate. And then we got American Ninja. So that's like, you know, the Amer- and then we have this other one. Like, you know, we all do, we do the different. Which is the best type of karate? Which, oh my god, American Ninja in yeah, New Orleans is one of them. <laughs> okay, because then because if you do Jim Kata and we do different types of karate, I guarantee you we can do an arm wrestling movie, or a regular wrestling movie, and I I know of at least one kickboxing, uh, and then like a kickboxing movie. Oh, my oh god. yeah, we could do like That's different types idea. of so like, like fighting, American karate, and then like and then arm o- wrestling over the top and then no do, holds barred no that's, the yeah, whole that's like one. the regular wrestling one yeah yeah but then we could also yes. do vision quest for regular wrestling like real wrestling we, yes. then we could do the best like of the best wrestling. because mm-hmm. that's karate like professional karate yeah and then some ufc movie <laughs> or and box- there's oh, plenty yeah, of those that now. yeah something with like movie tie or something okay so the question is now do we do Different types or the best city? I think we do best city. I think we do best city. I think we start with best city because that ties to the joke that we've already said on the on the yeah, podcast. Yeah, that would be because we said that karate. a bunch about yeah. yeah. And Dom, cool. Dominic, you already you already specifically said like, hey, this is something we're going to bring up from time to time is that we watch this movie and this is where what we're referencing. Yeah. So like we can say we can say like here we are. We're going to figure out once and for all who's the what city's the best city of karate? What's the Saint best Louis. karate city? <laughs> St. Louis, yeah. It turns yeah, out when so, it was all said and done, Manitoba, Canada. <laughs> Who saw that yeah. coming? Well, and that's the thing is like, because like we're naming out movies that we know. There's probably some movies out there we don't know. They're in Chicago, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking right now. <laughs> Karate um, movies. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I, I still want to do video game movies, but, yeah. but like I I think that's a I think this is a fantastic movie to uh, idea too. So, yeah, yeah, like, I, I like know. it. I like it, John. You, that's all you too. Uh, it never crossed my mind like that. The, like the different types of karate, but we know so many well, of them it, that are already good. And then, and, and then with the next theme being like, okay, we picked out what the best city is. Now, what's the best fighting style? And that's exactly. where we. And, and then we can get deep into that too. We could do Beverly Hills exactly. Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think I think L.A. is going to be an easy one to find. I think L.A., Miami, Seattle, uh, yeah, we already New York have those should all be things. easy. What I want to yeah. find is like Texas karate. That's yeah. what I want to find. So and I like think some okay. obscure small town. Yeah, oh, I guarantee I... you it's out there. I guarantee you there is like a Chuck Norris or like a Chuck Norris wannabe mm-hmm. actor who has made a come to San Antonio karate <laughs> movie. That's what New York. We could do Steven Seagal. Yeah, yeah, because he's in New York and like all his movies. And he has a very particular way he does yeah. stuff where he runs like he's got a poop. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to say in one, it, and I want to say in like one in like his early movies, like that was a big thing with his because he was an actual instructor. Yeah, was that I, th- I want to say there was at least one or two movies where he was like an instructor in New York. Yeah, in, yeah, in the exactly, movie. exactly. And then yes. Yes, we can definitely figure out, and we'll have to brainstorm throughout the week for next week will be, because next week is technically our first opening episode where we'll talk about this theme, our thoughts on the theme, and then we'll announce the movies that we're going to be watching. Sorry, the best of the best okay. is set in, like, it's somewhere in the south. <laughs> nice. Nice. So the best of the best down there, and then I could actually say there's an American Ninja, and that's set. In New Orleans. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. looking right now. There's Perfect. lots of movies. <laughs> the picture from Miami Connection is very funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's that scene where he got he has his fist in that guy's yeah. mouth with their practicing in front of the college. Okay, but the very first movie I found on this list, I'm just telling you, this is 1985. It's like the hundred best martial arts movies uh-huh. ever, and it's called Hold on, I can find it. Ninja Terminator, 1985. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja Terminator. Yeah, hold on. Uh, this his name is Badass Jaguar Wall. <laughs> 
<laughs> See, just wait. You, if you're looking at the best. I'm going to be yeah. looking for the worst. I'm going to be looking for something made in Canada. <laughs> yeah, so it says his name is he's the badass Jaguar Wong and he fights some guy in a blonde wig. That's literally the description yes. of the movie. <laughs> I think that lends itself to what we do best too. Is that that I think, and, and it gives us something to to then we get to go to the finale episode and decide, and we can argue over what we think is the best city, and yeah. then we get to argue over the best fighting style. I like it, and this mm-hmm. theme fits with like we can get fans to participate. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, so here we are. This is the bracket. Like, this is the bracket. Here's you know, all the movies. Thought of, I've already thought of another one. Invasion movies. Oh my God. I know. just thought of it. I just thought of one for sci-fi is which alien species is the most attractive. Oh, if only you <laughs> would want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> now I found a movie. Movies. I found a movie, but can we get away with it? Because this movie, <laughs> this movie has the guy from iron chef. <laughs> It's called Only no the Strong, way. and he's a he's the guy that does the karate. But here's the catch: we have to do Miami Connection because it's Miami Connection. But this is in Florida, mm. so it doesn't say where though. Can we? If, what if this is in Miami and we just say the other one's in Orlando? <laughs> <laughs> we, well, it, maybe that would come up in that movie. Maybe it's like, well, we have competing Miami movies. We have a yep. Miami, and then we have a. Tampa Bay, Florida, Orlando, or wherever the hell that one's set in. Mm-hmm. You know, two things with this. One, what if we did lay it out in a bracket? We ranked them one through eight, and then do a movie eight, and then do a movie one, and then at the end of that, say, okay, of these two, we pick this winner, and they move on, and then do, and then like do it bracket style. Yeah, okay, we can do that. I'm down with that. And then we can get people to vote and stuff like that too. Yeah. All right. So then, I guess what we have to determine amongst ourselves. We could put a poll out there on social media too, but I think most importantly between ourselves is we have to determine, and I think we're all kind of biased on this anyway, the seating. Like, mm-hmm. obviously, Seattle Karate is number one. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I think I think I mean, when, we pick, when we pick our movies throughout the week and we record next week, like, this is the theme, here's the movies, and then we can say these are our seedings, or and not necessarily these are our seedings. We say, okay, let's seed them, and then we discuss it. We like, okay, okay that's everyone so, debates it, so and then, that could and then be yeah, we, our we will start debate off, it. Start off podcast next week. Yep, yeah, exactly. And it's a seeding two, and I'll challenge you this because I think I think we could pull it off. Find a black karate movie. I just found one. Nice. Yes. Okay. It's undisputed. Nice. Is, so, okay. Oh, yes, because I'm thinking like oh, Dolomite, yes. where he's got the badass women that do karate, like. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. There's, I found a bunch on this list. So. All right, all right. And I mean, like, I, I think it sounds like we're all because I'm I, obviously we're all going to be googling this for the next like hour. So I think by the time <laughs> me right now, <laughs> not uh, even waiting. Or uh, I think probably by the end of the week we'll have a good amount of movies to choose from, and so we should then it will just be about narrowing it down to where obviously there's a few that we want to include of our favorite like mm-hmm. like Miami connection where like we just kind of want to talk about dragons and friendship and the fact you're that I'm missing in a band. it Dominic you're missing <laughs> it the black movie of the black uh, karate why are you not thinking of the movie who is the black the best black karate of all uh, first of all show, show no, no is the best <laughs> show <guy>. no <laughs> I was like wait a minute <laughs> oh, second of all I also think I he also think it's important that at least that at least half of these movies be ones that we haven't seen. Yeah, so exactly. that yeah. there is an element of of not Surprise, so much yeah. familiar. Yeah, yeah. So that we're not so familiar with all of them. Yep, I like it. I like it. So, uh, what's a cap on the number of movies? It's got to be an even number. Is it eight? I think eight's good. We yeah, end up recording ten good. a ten episode season. Yeah, eight. So beginning episode eight, and then a, a finale. Okay. Yeah, it works for me. And then let's say it's eight plus four. You should watch it movies. And those would not be, well, not be like karate. They could be karate related, but we'll just be like, you know. hey, I was in the mood to watch this. And so yeah. we did. Uh-huh. And this movie was totally a rip off of Rollerball. <laughs> well, and, and that's, and that's, um, we could do sub theme. We could do like, this is, this is a karate movie that didn't make the cut. Or yeah, in I, that now thing. that I say it out loud, I kind of like the idea of like, hey, we're in the middle of karate stuff, but here's a break. Go watch. Oh, okay. Go watch like whatever, Cyberjack or one of those things like that. Uh-huh. Like those yeah, exactly. Okay. The Killing Zone. Or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just for the scene where the guy, the black guy is supposed to be dead, but he's walking with them. 
<laughs> yes. Whoops. We forgot you were dead and we put you in the next scene. <laughs> it sounds like we got it. All right. All right. I'm going to share this article with you guys so you can see all the movies. In the yep. Movie. Yep. I just sent the okay. summary of our of our stuff. So, yep. Okay. Cool. It sounds like we got we got all, all our stuff all that we need to we need to get wor- worked out. So, all right. Sounds good. So, are we still doing if we're going to do the karate thing? Are we still doing this this the same time era? Uh, I think um no, I think question. I think we can be more flexible with the different I th- I think we could just dump the year restriction. Just for the just for the different whatever we're doing the different that was the things, theme things. that we that was basically the theme that we chose last one we ended up settling around a lot around yeah. ni- 1991 but our theme was like action movies from the greatest era 1975 to 1995 and in this season can be i'll come up with, with a different tagline it doesn't have to be in a in a year bucket so the question is is does anyone else think that we need to stay in a year bucket no because i think we're doing the theme of like whatever so for example if we're doing the karate around the country thing it should just yeah. be about karate around the country, not like the theme, the, the year doesn't matter. Okay. Which is why I'm yeah, asking, because I... this list has a lot of movies on it that are like 2000, mm. and they look like they'd be perfect, okay. but it's like, it's 2000, so I don't yeah. know, you know. Yeah. I think John. we can relax on the year thing. I think that's fine.